Hi guys, today I'm back with a video that's once again sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of options for creative people or curious people just like you and me. And I just want to say real quick before I get into the thousands of options that they offer that I think this is a great gift idea. If you don't want to buy a new product that's unnecessary and if you don't want to fall into the over consumerism that's ruining our society. I think gifting someone with the experience of learning, developing a new skill, improving themselves is a great idea. They offer art related classes, also have classes that are more about photography, about music, about web development. Today I want to tell you more about their productivity classes, which I think are great because at the end of this year I realize I'm wasting a lot of my time and that is because I don't know how to set goals. So this class that I'm showing you right now is really great. It is a beginner level class, so I think it is a great way to start. So Skillshare is kind enough to offer the first thousand people, they're going to click on the link in the description, a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore the different classes, the different options, and you can explore your own creativity and discover what you like the most. And Skillshare is also very affordable. If you then want to carry on and follow with that, it's less than 10 dollars a month with an annual subscription which is really really affordable especially when you take in consideration all the classes they offer with the amazing teachers and the amazing creatives that are here to share their experience with you so yeah now let's go back to the vlog hi guys today is another day and it's another vlog so i'm running a bit late now so i need to be really quick my sister is here for a few days before flying to Morocco for a semester at uni so today is my day off from work I am sick as you maybe can hear I don't know um, so yeah I think I have a cold or maybe I have something else in those very uncertain times it's a bit strange to have a cold but you know let's just remain calm but yeah I'm tired and I'm a bit sick so we're not gonna do many things today but we're still going out eating out visiting a beautiful landmark in Paris, so I thought I would take you along with me. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna film when I'm outside. Um, and look at that wonderful mask that I have. Yeah, you should stop eating animals. Anyway, let's go now. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright had food. We ate some Korean food as we always do or almost always do when we get together and now we are walking towards the landmark we are visiting this afternoon. I think I will talk to you a little bit more when we are back home but for now I hope you enjoy the beautiful little sights of Paris. It's very sunny and very hot. It's a very warm September. We usually don't have that weather in September, so I guess that's climate change for you. Uh, we are now walking along the garden in this rather beautiful area. And the floor, the ground is beautiful too. Before so yeah, sleep. pretty nice. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for 
final destination. So we are visiting today the Saint Chapelle or the Holy Chapel, 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 whatever. Um, so it's a beautiful, supposedly, uh, church or chapelle in Paris, really close to the Seine and Notre Dame. Um, so yeah, it's our first time uh, seeing it, even though we've been, I mean, I've been, I've lived in Paris for like 11 years now but it's nice to know that you will always have things to discover in the city that you live in so yeah I'm really excited to share that with you because I think it is going to be amazing the glass the glass windows uh, I think are absolutely stunning inside that's like one of the main points um, one of the main assets of this church and uh, Oh yeah, the stained glass. Okay, so let's go. So we are back home, as you can probably tell, um, and I wanted to tell you a bit more about the books that I got today. So I got three books that were second-hand books, so they were pretty cheap, and um, yeah, I'm going to talk about them a little bit, and then it's going to be probably the end of this vlog because I'm a bit tired and my voice is getting a bit tired. So the first one I got is this one, it's a play by Bertolt Precht, who is a very famous German playwright. This one is about um, basically explaining why and how it is possible for a dictatorship to take place and rise in a country, and it's obviously linked to um, the Third Reich the Third Reich in Germany, sorry. So I am planning on studying this with uh, one of my classes in high school. I'm hoping to maybe do more than just study a German play. I won't tell you much about that because I'm not sure who's watching those videos and I don't want any student to have false hopes. But yeah, um, I'm excited to read this one. It's going to be my second read uh, by Brecht and I am really looking forward to seeing how it's been translated because the first one I read was in English. So this one is pretty famous, nothing extraordinary, but the two books I got 
then are by female writers from the 19th and I'm not sure 19th century for one of them and the second one uh, I don't know for the second one I think it's probably more oh no the second one is the 20th century okay then I got this one 24 hours of uh, the life of a sensitive woman so what first got my attention was the fact that the title resembles very much um, one by uh, Zweig who is a very talented writer, very well known but this one is by Constance de Salme who I don't know I had never heard her name before and that's what I liked she's a female writer of the 19th century and I'm really excited to discover her, to discover her work. Apparently she has written other stuff and she had what was called a salon. So basically she was hosting literary meetings and reunions in her apartments and she met people like Balzac or Stendhal. So I'm really... I'm sorry, I'm tired. So I'm really looking forward to discovering her work and I'm sure it's going to be interesting. And what I really like is that this one is um, basically for school. So it also has like some questions and some like other documents like pictures, pictures of paintings and sculptures and I may or may not study this in the future, so really looking forward to reading her work. And then I have this one, which is um, by Marcel Sauvageau, who is a female writer as well from the 20th century. She apparently studied uh, surrealism and wrote about surrealism, um, which you know I'm very interested in. As you probably know, it's my favorite literary movement, and this is called Let. Uh, Laissez-moi. Leave me alone or leave me. I don't know. Um, and it has also another. It has another title. I think um, commentary. So yeah, either leave me or commentary. And this is basically the story of a woman who is going to her. Oh, so I'm really tired. It's basically the story of a woman who's going to the hospital somewhere. I don't know where this is taking place because she has a disease and she's probably not gonna get, you know, better. And her lover has broken up with her and so she's writing him a letter explaining all about her feelings and what she's going through and everything. Um, and apparently it is a great read. I've read only good and positive reviews as well as for this one. This one is um, about a woman who has an affair with a man and one night at the opera, the theater, she sees this man going out with another woman and then she gets a little bit too jealous and obsessed by this and she's following him, spying on him and everything. So yeah, great reads I'm sure. So yeah, uh, right now I'm reading La Guerre de Blanche by Mikhail Bulgakov. I find it a bit difficult to be honest, even though the writing style is just brilliant. So I'm hoping to finish this in the following maybe two days so that I can jump next to my future reads. Now I am just going to relax with my sister. I'm going to work a little bit more for school and um, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it guys. And I'll see you soon.